Hello audience, and welcome back to another episode of The Book Reviewer with your host, Cindy. So, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone that is watching. And I have another book review to share. So, I've recently been reading The Chronicles of Narnia. Um, let me get that up here. Oh. Um, this is part of the Chronicles of Narnia series. Um, this one is the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I'm sorry, the light is really bad, guys. Is this better? That looks a little better. Um, this is the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, this one is called Prince Caspian. Um, I could not find a book on Amazon that has quite the cover that I have. So, um, that's a little different. Um, so, Prince Caspian, this is the fourth book in the series. And if you missed the reviews I have done so far, I will put a link over here somewhere. And in the cards and in the video description below of all the Narnia reviews that I have done so far. Um, it'll be on a playlist that's called C.S. Lewis or the Chronicles of Narnia playlist. So, um, so with that out of the way, um, as I said, this is the fourth book in the series. Um, the first one was The Magician's Nephew the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, of course. And then, um, what was the other one? <laughs> oh, The Horse and His Boy. Um, and then this is the fourth one, like I said. This book has 223 pages, and it actually has a Kindle edition. There are many different ways to read or listen to the book. There's the Kindle edition, um, of course, um, there's hardcover, there's paperback, like I have, um, there's actually a recording of Prince Caspian on audible.com, or audio CD. Now, I'm not affiliated with audible.com, but I've heard that it's a really good website, and it, um, help support um, other companies doing what they do um, by sponsoring their videos or whatever it might be. Uh, so, this book refers to The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Um, I'll put a card up in the video um, above and show you that video and have you check that out. Probably that one and the reread of it, but I'll link the original review. But this is referring to uh, Peter, Edmund, Susie, and Lucy when they had an adventure. Now, if you'll remember, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is when four kids um, first discover the land of Narnia. And they go on an adventure, they grow up, they mature, and they become kings and queens in Narnia. And the dry went off. Okay, so, when they came back through the wardrobe in the book, um, the professor had told them that when they probably would go back to this world that they didn't quite understand yet, when they weren't looking for it. So it's kind of like, okay, be thinking about it, but don't anticipate it if it doesn't happen right away. So, um, so Edmund, if you'll remember, in The Lion, the Witch, and the World Trip was not that great of a friend. In fact, he was a traitor. Um, but this time, Edmund felt that it was some kind of magic that was um, at the train station that was pulling them in somehow 
they didn't quite understand what was going on at first. Um, but they find themselves on an island, and in the book, it's really kind of funny, they um, compare it to being shipwrecked. Um, lots of TV shows, lots of books about being shipwrecked and living off the land and all that. So, they kind of knew what was going on. Um, they find an orchard of apple trees after a while, after they kind of explore the land and everything like that. And after a good while, they see a wall, and it turns out to be a castle. Um, they find after a while that this castle was the ruins of Care Paravel, where which is the castle they ruled and reigned in for quite some time. Um, they, a little bit later in the book, they save a dwarf, dwarf who is going to drown because according to those people or whatever he had done, he was dangerous. He was very dangerous. Um, Pris, Prince, if I can say my name, words right, Prince Caspian was a king of Narnia. Okay, so Caspian was a boy and the king and queen had no children of their own so he was told stories of this nurse or or caregiver that the king and queen had hired for him um, about the kings and queens and the father got really upset about it um, and the king told him that those old stories were fit for babies and not for older children. Now, you can understand, you know, if, if you're a child or an adult, how that might wreck a kid's psyche or um, illusion or perspective about that. Um, so, Caspian tells the little boy tells the king and queen about Narnia and the White Witch and everything about Aslan. And the king has none of this. The, the king doesn't want to hear about it. So he sends this nurse or caregiver that the little boy had away. And he gets a new tutor named Dr. Cornel Cornelius. And there are some vocabulary that one might find kind of odd if you've been reading any books for any amount of time. But nay means no. Um, his tutor tells him about Narnia, how it is all true, and we find out that Dr. Cornelius is a dwarf. So um, Caspian, the boy, runs away. His tutor tells them that there is a plot for someone else to take over, to have people killed, so this guy, Miraz, can assume the throne. Um, there is another um, vocabulary word. It's a satchel. It's like a backpack that you would go to school with. Um, king Miraz is the king at the time. Killed his father and likely will kill him too. Um, he gives Caspian the horn that Queen Susan had that would call for help. And he's, Caspian is taken in by badgers that are talking. We meet Reepicheep is a talking mouse. Caspian met many more talking animals. Too many to name or mention. It says so, actually, in the book, that there's too many to name. They have a battle of sorts, and everyone sees Aslan again. Caspian actually meets the High King, which is King Peter, and Caspian meets all of them. And it's um, a really good book. It's a little slow in describing everything, but it it is good. It's very cool and I'm about